troubles away. You bounced a big check. Your mom has the paper. Jack, your troubles away. Your car had a wreck. They're serving you papers. You have an upcoming show. Yes. In San Francisco, this is November 8th, and it's at the Curran Theater with yes. Tommy Toon. Yes, my old friend Tommy Toon. And so we just stick together. When, when I'm going through something that it's hard for me now to do it alone, so I just call up Tommy Toon and he says, sure, I'll be there. Okay. Tommy uh, is, is a dear, dear friend. I met him on his graduation day from high school in Dallas, Texas. We've been friends ever since, very good friends. If ever I need anything, I call Tommy. Miss Channing, ma'am, as president of your uh, fan club, I would like to present you with the key to my pad. There is a clip of you and Tommy Toon from a show from years ago where you were both doing some pretty psychedelic dancing. Do you remember this? It was on some... Psychedelic? Well, it was in the late 60s. And it was, a, it was that's how young I feel. Yeah. And there's Big Tall Tommy. That was pretty impressive. You know, I'm no midget either. <laughs> so, so if he looked big tall next to me, he's tall. He's a tall guy. <laughs> Isn't the current theater where you first started seeing shows? Oh boy, I first started seeing Everything, uh, Ethel Waters, Mamba's Daughters, oh boy. Supper time, I should set the table. Oh, she was fabulous. Lynn Fontaine and Alfred Lunt, oh, they were there at the Kern, and every, everybody came to the Kern unless they went to the Geary. I was a little girl and I got 50 cents a week allowance from my parents. So I spent every bit of the 50 cents saving up, like for a $2.50 ticket at the current theater. I could see the greatest stars that traveled, the hit shows from Broadway, and I saw it. Everybody came to life on that stage. Did you ever play at the current yourself? Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, yes. Hello, Dolly played there. I want to be buried between the Kern Theater and the Geary Theater. Oh, yes! And they agreed. All right, we'll get the cement up and everything. Now, also in San Francisco, I understand, I just found out, and I think you did too, yeah. that there's going to be a Carol Channing Day at the Chronicle. Well, my Uncle Bill Chandler, he's no relation because mine is Channing. Uncle Bill used to use any excuse when I won, I won, uh, uh, Vice President of uh, Aptos Junior High, okay. which was the sixth grade. He ran a pic, big picture of me in the Chronicle. Okay. Isn't that wonderful to have an Uncle <laughs> Bill like that? <laughs> Everything I did. Now you're going back to the auditorium named after you. Yes. I didn't know it. Nobody told me. I thought, I want to see the new Lowell High School. See, the old Lowell was falling apart. I never saw the new one. I graduated just before everybody moved to the new one. Okay. Well, it's great. It's terrific. And outside the auditorium, I was walking through all by myself. I looked up and in front of the school auditorium, it said, the Carol Channing Theater. Nobody told me. Oh boy, this is a thrill to have your high school name the school auditorium after you. That's better than the New York Times. <laughs> That's an honor. That's yes, it is. A kiss on the hand may be quite continental, but diamonds are a girl's best friend. Oh, well, it's true. I am the best historian for San Francisco. You went to the Golden Gate Bridge. Yes. And it was being built? It wasn't built yet. It was just about two thirds built. And they, they said we would like the two school officers. So they said George Fetterman and me out in a boat got out, stood where they were, they were working on it. They stopped drilling and all that so that we could do uh, talk to them. 
it was just the most exciting. Salt water all over our faces. <laughs> My Midian skirt was drenched. George Fenneman was all wet. It was very thrilling. Imagine, I'm a monument <laughs> in San Francisco, that's all. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, I would now say a I'm few other back, places. And I can't wait. I'll be 94 next year, very soon. Wow. Yes. And you know, if you keep working, you can't get old. For I got a goal again, I got to drive again, I'm going to feel my heart and alive again.